Another indicator that consumers in the United States are buckling under a financial burden. New reports say that 2009 bankruptcies hit near record highs. The rate continues to climb as consumers try to find their way out of overwhelming debts. When you have an economic decline like we have, and it's a serious one, even though uh, it seems to be recovering, people downgrade. The number of Americans filing for personal bankruptcy rose by nearly a third in 2009, a surge largely driven by foreclosures and job losses. Filings hit nearly one and a half million last year, up 32 percent from 2008, according to the National Bankruptcy Research Center, which compiles and analyzes bankruptcy data. It's the highest level of consumer bankruptcy filings since 2005. The ripple effects of the housing crisis, which was generated by unstable, unsafe mortgages put in the hands of consumers who were not really able to pay the full cost of the mortgages, has been very extensive. People struggling in the United States recession were hit hard by unemployment rates and underwater mortgages. More of them considered bankruptcy in 2009 than ever before. Many experts are saying that bankruptcies have no signs of slowing down. Consumers are struggling with adjustable rate mortgages and lost jobs. And now many individuals and business owners are succumbing to shrinking home values and lost wages. About 113,000 filings in December alone were a third higher than the same month a year earlier. Bankruptcy is not a terrific option for any individual because it's a very, very trying, painful, lengthy process. It leaves you under the control, really, of the bankruptcy court for a number of years. Uh, it can help consumers get out from under the debts they have, but it does so at a very steep price. For some, bankruptcy is viewed as the only option, as consumers try to find a way to pay bills in the midst of high unemployment rates and a lagging economy. It's a strategy of finding the easiest way out or bust. Colin Campbell, Washington.